Okay, so let's go ahead and predict whether these are polar or nonpolar. Um, so the first thing you want to do is predict the structural formula of these uh, molecules. And you can do that by doing uh, the Lewis dot structure first. So I'm assuming that you know how to do Lewis dot structure, so we'll just take it from there to structural formulas, okay? So the structural formula for this molecule, CO2, looks like that, okay? And even though oxygen, uh, the oxygen carbon bond here is polar because oxygen is 3.5 by carbon is 2.5. Okay. What you'll find is that even though this um, dipole arrow goes that way, okay, and this dipole arrow goes that way, so you have two polar bonds, they're both exactly one divide in this direction and one divide in this direction, so they cancel each other out. So this is a linear molecule, of course. So those are directly opposite from each other, so they cancel each other out. So this is non-polar. CO2 is non-polar. So let's go ahead and look at SCl2 now. So SCl2 has the similar shape to H2O, with S being the central atom, and of course Cl being the outside atoms. Okay, so it has this bent geometry due to its four electron groups, two of them being lone pairs. So this bond angle here is approximately 104.5 degrees. What you find is if you do the difference in electronegativity, you find that S has a 2.5 electronegativity and CL has a 3.0. So the arrow, dipole arrow, for that bond goes that way. And then for that bond goes that way. So what we need to do for this one is add them both up. Okay, add these two vectors up. And what you'll find is that it goes straight through the middle. So that's the overall dipole of the molecule. So these bonds themselves, they're um, polar bonds, but the molecule is polar in such a way that the bottom is positively charged, or negatively charged, and the top is positively charged. BrCl, that's of course a simple diatomic molecule. There is no bond angle here. Ah, so this is cool. So Br is 2.8 and Cl is 3.0. Okay. So um, you see that Cl is uh, more electronegative than Br by 0 0.2 divide. Remember, we said anything lower or 0.4 or lower, we're going to consider non-polar, okay? So even though this is a slightly polar bond, we would consider this non-polar uh, molecule. Non-polar because it's Lower than zero point four. So the on the SCL are uh, you adding one second, let's I'm let's record the video and then you can ask all your questions, okay? Let's just do that. Um so F C S two now, all right? 
the same structure as CO2, okay? Remember where S is in relation to O on the periodic table. So C, 2.5, S is 2.5. Okay, so we don't even have any polar bonds in this thing. So even if we did, they would be pulling in opposite directions. So this is also non-polar. 